Well, um, I mean, you mentioned already, of course, that you know, it's when you go a goal ahead, it's never nice to to not get all three points, is it? Uh, so, what's the kind of feeling in the dressing room after the game? Well, I think, yeah, like you said, it's it's just it's so frustrating, just because I, th I felt like we deserved it. I felt like you know, a lot of the team had really good game, and I think the, t the team as a collective were very organised and you know, very very strong for most most of the game. And it's just yeah, just one. Yeah, just one set piece. Obviously, and I didn't. I didn't feel like they had too much of a threat for the, you know, for the whole game because you know defensively we were really solid. I mean, I think they had probably threatened mostly from those set pieces. I mean, Summerfield's corners were dangerous, and it was always Keith Lowe who seemed to be getting on the end of them. And eventually, yeah, he just he, he did get that. So that's the probably the most frustrating way to, to ever concede a goal, isn't it, from a set piece? Because I guess you train and train and train to prevent those situations occurring. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was good delivery, but at the same time, we we set up to you know to, to prevent you know goals from set pieces. So I think whatever team you know any team will say that is you know it's really one of the probably most frustrating ways to concede a goal is from set piece. So um, and so late on as well, we've only what ten minutes left. It's just yeah, it's so frustrating. Yeah, I, I scored a goal last year after having my head cut open. So. Talking. So maybe something in that. So <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully that's not. I'm not going to have to, you know, have a clash of heads before, before I get a goal every time.